Hi, my name is Monique, and I wanted to introduce you all to a really great assessment tool that uh, I used last year with my second graders for reading comprehension and reading fluency, and it's called RAS Kids. It's under the Learning A to Z program. Um, Learning A to Z is a really great website. They have a, a plethora of different um, programs that you can use for online access for students to be able to have just another pathway to learn. And this is a really great program to use. It provides assessments, it provides um, practice, it provides oral fluency. I mean, it just has it all. And it's just a really great program to be able to have access to in your classroom. Um, one of the cons of having this program is that it is a program that you do have to purchase eagerly. So it's not one that you can just purchase and have like a two year uh, membership. This is a yearly membership and it's kind of high. I think it runs about 70 to 89 dollars per membership um, for the year. But like I said, it's very beneficial. It's a great program to have. I even think it might be a little bit um, more useful um, than Waterford just because it just focuses on reading and you can also purchase the other additional vocabulary practice and all those, which Waterford, Waterford for our school is very beneficial for our kids. But I, I just really like this just for the purpose of reading and that the kids can practice with this at home on any mobile device, desktop, computer, or the latter. So let me just take you through a couple of um, pieces of this program that I wanted you to show. So the very first thing you would have to do is once you get signed up is to... Um, create your classroom so you will have your class roster where you will add students you have up to 36 students you can add on a roster so you have um, quite a bit of um, space to add kids if you need to from other classes that might need that assistance or that extra reading time um, like I said you can use it as centers um, and you can use it for acceleration or independent reading time however you want to use it it's you can just use it any type of way so you have a class roster where you're able to add kids um, to it you also have a section for reports where it will show you <coughs> exactly all the information that you need. But within the class roster, the classroom roster, you will have um, a way that you can get your reports emailed to you and you can email them weekly or monthly. Um, you can send your students individual messages so when they log on, they'll have a little mailbox or have a message for them. Um, the parents can read the messages as well. Or you can send a whole class message, so however you want to do it, you can actually type it or record it, but you can only type up to 250 words. And then you have the documents that go home. It's in a plethora of different languages and the student login, so it just helps you to better be able to communicate to parents what they're getting ready to have their child do and how they can access it at home. Um, one other thing that I find that's kind of a con with this program and a pro is you don't have to have a password. So when we go to the student page, you'll see that the students, all they have to do is click on their picture and log in. Um, the password is something that you can have, but you don't have to. As you get to the older grades, you probably will want to have a password so that they can go easily into somebody else's page. Um, you can also turn on and turn off the incentives. And the incentives are great because the students have the opportunity to um, go back into the program and earn stars for their work. So they earn stars for reading the book, they earn stars for listening to the book, they earn stars for taking um, the assessments and doing the assignments. So in the assignments page you have a different you have different groups of assignments. So you have um, the running records that they do on here where the students will read on the computer and it records their voice and it records their running record and then you get to see the miscues and the um, the self corrections that they made. So you get to see all of those things going on and you get to print that out and use that as a follow up to how you're going to assess these students and how you're going to provide intervention for them. So it's, I mean, like I said, it's a very beneficial way to use this program. It's great. And you can set up different ones. So you can, so you can set up assessments, which I'll show you here on their rating level. So this would be the assessments that you would send up for a benchmark passage or a benchmark book. So they can read the whole book and they'll be assessed through that and do a follow up uh, comprehension quiz or they or you can just assess a passage where they read the passage and that is like their running record. But you could do running records on both. So that gives you that as a great tool to use. Um, and then, like I said, when you get the report, you can you can get the reports in different types of graphs. 
per student. So it'll show you a bar graph and it will show you a pie graph of each one that you will be able to see all the, the information needed over the on that student <coughs> overall. And then you can download that information. So when you're looking at the students, you'll tell how many times they listened to the story, how many times they read the story, how many quizzes they've taken, how many times they practiced the recording, and then you know the self paces when they're doing it on their own. And you can download and email those reports. It shows you the skill reports here and also shows you the assessment. So like I said, it's a really great program. So as we go into Raz Kids, and you get to see a student page on Raz Kids. I have to log out, but you'll get to see a student page and how it actually works for the student. So initially, when the students type in Raz Kids and they type in the login, it's going to come to this page. It's going to come to a page and it's going to say Kid Login. Once they log in, they will type in my name, M Porter 36, and that's how they'll know who their teacher is. That's all they have to type in, and then they'll find their picture here in the boxes below. So you'll have a square, circle, triangle, plus sign, star, heart, whichever one they are. They'll know who, what their shape are, and then they can pick it. There's also a section for parents, so they can check on their kids and see what they're doing, and also get that same information that you get, um, just parent friendly. So once the kids come in, if they have assignments to do, it'll be here in the reading assessment. If they have check-ins, that's your running records and things that they have to do. So the assessments, that's located in the flight check room. This is the book room. Well, we'll go here in a minute to look at some books. And then you have your messages and your star zone where they can go and look and see how many stars they've earned and start building uh, their robots or their rockets that they get. So the incentive to this program is that the students get a chance to earn something. So they earn points and they earn stars. As you can see, this little kid, Tommy, has earned 60 stars. And they get to um, use those stars to start building on their rockets. So um, one of the books that I currently just picked to read was Are You From India? It has a plethora of books for students to be able to access and read. So they can read through these books in a week, and then you can switch it up, and they can have more level books, so you can go look for more books. And they can look at it for favorite characters or nursery rhymes, songs, and poetry. So it just has um, some categories for the students to be able to choose from. But once they go in and they click on the book, the actual book will um, read to them. So this right here is the actual assessment. So they're able to listen to the question. This book is mostly about and then they can People hear each answer India. choice. They also have the opportunity that if they feel like they didn't answer that question right, they can go back to that question and go back to the book and actually find the answer, return to the quiz, and answer the question. So they give them all the opportunities to really feel like they're accomplishing their goal. So um, like I said, this is a really great tool. Remember, remember that it has a listening tool on here, so the students will be able to speak into it. And um, you can listen in for those running records. You can listen in to see how their fluency is going. And then these little short comprehension questions are just there to let you know if they're understanding what they're reading. So like I said, Grass Kids, a great program to use. I really enjoy it. My parents enjoyed it last year. And a lot of them you know, are continuing on using it um, this year, the ones who I have on a separate program. Um, and then, um, like for me, I have to renew it, but I just feel like it's been the most beneficial program next to Waterford that we have at my school. Um, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.